Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you all much love. So I'm here to do a fire sign reading. For those of you who have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and also cross watchers as well. So thank you for watching. Let's jump into this reading. So I'll start with the messages here. To outline this reading we have let go of control issues it says allow this situation to unfold naturally and we have release your ex it says the time has come to clear your energy and we have forgiving and learning it says as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so that's let go of control issues release your ex and forgiving and learning right so let's get the tarot and tap into the energies surrounding this situation during this time let's see what spirit wants you to know what's going on in your energy fields so i do a three card spread we've got death scorpio energy here ace of swords and six of swords so let's clarify dig a bit deeper so do remember this is a general reading, it's not a personal reading, so uh, I may pick up mixed messages for different people. So only take the messages that resonate with you, leave what doesn't. The energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so just flip the roles as need be and use your discernment with these readings here. So I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this reading i hope it helps and gives you clarity and insight into your situation so now that i've laid out the cards i can see here that um if you have turned your back on someone here then um it is actually killing this person to like watch you walk away from them here six of swords i feel like you know if you are moving on from a situation that you've let go of we have got the death here then uh yeah it is breaking this person down whoever you're walking away from leaving behind they feel that you are leaving them behind it's breaking them down ten of swords because they're watching you this person's actually watching you walk away, move on. Page of Wands here. Yeah, there's a strong attraction for you here. Strong passion and attraction. It is actually breaking this person down. Ten of Swords. It's killing them to watch you walk away. Yeah, Sleepless Nights. We've got Nine of Swords here. This person stays awake at night, thinking about you at the best of times. They can't sleep. They can't sleep. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we have release your ex. Yeah, for some, for some of you, this is an ex. They're still holding on to you. It's killing them that you're not um, returning back to them. Maybe this is someone that may have thought that uh, you you will return back to them. But with the death energy here, I feel like maybe they realise that you may never return back to them, that you are actually serious about moving on. Someone here is starting to realise you're actually serious about moving forward here. You're not looking back. Six of Swords, like you're being spiritually guided here to keep moving forward here. Because this situation, there's something about this situation here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that. Maybe um, for some of you, there was deception. It was a deception in this situation, mainly, that pushed you away. But it looks like um, there's about to be a breakthrough in this situation here. This is what I can see. Ace of Swords, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like um, there's about to be a breakthrough in communication. If this is a pet someone that you stopped talking to, 
then uh, that's about to change because I feel like this person, they're about to reach out here. They're going to reach out to you, Page of Wands here. There's going to be a breakthrough in communication here. Yeah, they, they're ready to open up communication with you. And uh, not only just open up communication, but they actually want to work, put in the work and the effort to Eight of Pentacles to actually uh, build a new relationship with you or friendship or just to start new with you. Here, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So positive changes here in luck and someone's luck and fortune. So this situation looks like it, it is um, going in your favour. It looks like you may get what you deserve out of this situation with this person here. I feel like you'll definitely get clarity. And maybe this is what's needed. Maybe this is what was needed. Truth and clarity here. Yeah, because it leads me to this message here. Forgiving and learning. So, uh, this, this is someone that wants your forgiveness. I feel like, you know, there was deception in this situation. You may have felt betrayed by this person for some of you. This person wants your forgiveness. I mean, this person, like I said, they're watching you walk away. It's breaking them down. And it's like, I'm getting, you know... There's a lack of effort. They've been there. There has been a lack of action or effort on this person's part behalf. For some of you, they actually let you walk away. They didn't do much to stop you from moving on. Here, you've had to heal yourself, pick up, you know, pick up yourself and um, get back on your feet. Here, focus on your healing because I can see there's been healing here. Yeah, I feel like this person, like I said before, they may have felt like you would return back to them. Maybe this is why they never made the effort to actually stop you from moving on before. But like I said, I feel like they're starting to realise that you're actually serious. <laughs> you are serious about moving forward. You're not looking back. You have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. Some of you, uh, you probably uh, just uh, left this situation to God. You know, you put the situation in God's hands, you know. Yeah. Allowed it to unfold naturally here. You stopped trying to control the situation. You just focus on yourself here. And let God deal with this situation here. And uh, yeah, wheel of fortune. I mean, God is working on in your favour here. You'll get what you want out of the situation, whether it's truth, clarity, something that, you know, that you deserve. Because this person actually wants to work on it here with you. Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. This is all they think about. It looks like with the death energy, they may have had to let go of something or someone themselves. Maybe there was a situation that they, this person needed to let go of. Yeah. This person, this is, for some of you, this person, they could have been attached to somebody else here. They were attached to another situation themselves that they maybe needed to release. In order to have um, this new beginning with you. So, um, during this time, I feel like it looks like someone is going through a time where they are, they are experiencing some sort of loss. Or they are letting go of something, moving on from the past, something old. They're letting go of something old here. Someone, it looks, I feel like someone's experiencing some sort of loss here. I'm, get, I'm getting, for some of you, I mean, there could have been a loved one that's passed away, I'm getting. 
for someone here. Someone's um, lost a loved one. There's been a transformation here. If um, uh, I'm also getting that um, there's something within this person that has changed, that has died as well. Something's died within this person. Ego, I'm hearing ego. Is it ego death? There's something, that's, there's something major that's changed here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a relationship though. There's definitely a relationship that's over. Someone is moving into a new phase. Someone's definitely moving into a new phase here. Something's definitely over. And it's bringing in, you know, a breakthrough for someone here. Yeah. Leads me to this. We've got boat. It says receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on. Yeah, moving on. So that's double confirmation here that someone's definitely moving on to a new beginning. Yeah, receiving what they need to move on. The truth has come through for someone, setting someone free. Yeah, camera. It says reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. Yeah, someone's learning from their past here. Definitely someone's looking at things differently now for a different lens. We have the phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation. So this clarifies this uh, death energy here. It's a transformation going on here. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio for some of you. But uh, something something has been, uh, a situation has been transformed here. Someone's, someone has let go of something or someone. Yeah, to start a new phase, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So this is what I'm saying. Someone's preparing to... Uh, reconcile with you during this time we have heartbroken so this is someone that's deeply hurt sad separation so i'm getting this is what i'm getting this is breaking this person down to to watch you walk away and keeping it moving as well not only are you, you have you turn your back but you're you're keeping it moving you're not even looking back either it is breaking this person down they're heartbroken yeah because we have sunglasses they are watching you this is what I'm saying. This person actually watch you walk away, move on from them. It's painful because they're realizing that you are not returning. You don't have intentions to 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 go backwards. You know, so it's like this person. They feel like they need to catch up with you now. They need to catch up because you you're keeping it moving forward. You know, yeah, they are stalking you obsessed because it's love this person is in love unconditional love strong passion and attraction for you yeah they're in love yeah they're in love you are this person's paradise you are this person's joy they are absolutely heartbroken you it's breaking this person down so we have a breakthrough here this person's going to open up communication. You're going to hear from this person. Yeah, they, they, they realise they're going to have to do something about it now. They cannot continue to sit there and watch you keep it moving and walk away from them. It is killing them. They're going to reach out here and they are hoping and praying that you can forgive them. You know, they would like for you to find it in your heart to forgive them and release the past. Here, so maybe this is a lesson for you guys as well, a spiritual lesson for you guys to learn forgiveness. This may be someone that you may find hard to forgive, or whatever they've done, you may find it hard to forgive. So this could be you could be getting tested here on your spiritual journey. So I do wish you the best in this situation. I'll leave the reading here for now. That is the messages for this reading. I hope it um, gave you um, the insight and clarity that you need. So I thank you so much for your support. And I will be back again real soon. Take care. Bye for now.